How's it going everybody? It's Blackjack. Welcome back to Calorie After Story. We're starting a new batch tonight and I'm taking on a new challenge. It's it's the I don't have any more liquor challenge so I need to finish all the light beer in my fridge to even get remotely drunk. So um, during this episode I am going to do my best to at least try to drink one of these light beers. I, I, I gotta finish two Bud Lights and I have a whole case of Corona Lights. These are nice and frigid cold the way I like them. Um, if I'm gonna have to drink light beer um, and I'm gonna try to finish at least one every 10 minutes and then continue the batch from there. So I have eight beers. That's about eight beers in an hour and 20 minutes. I'll be fine. But before we get to that, there, there is something that I did want to get to, um, and it's this. Um, I was told that I missed an option. By the way, look that last slave save 420 blazer. But um, we need to be here. Um, right now, and I'll explain why in a second here as I skip through some text, okay. I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. I didn't mean with me. I meant are you looking to get engaged to your significant other? I didn't hear it at first, but that's Valerie's voice actor. Actress. I didn't hear that, but now that I'm listening back to it, and this is my first time hearing it, I was told that it was, but I was like, I don't believe that, because I would have I would have kind of picked up on something like that right away. Like, when we played Danganronpa V3 on stream, I immediately kind of was like, I know where Kokichi's voice is from, I've heard this, and I correctly identified it as the Digimon Emperor. So it was weird that I couldn't tie this in as Valerie's VA. That's, that's kind of crazy, but yeah, just one more. Of course, sir. Perhaps I can interest you in a selection of our promissory rings, then. Yeah, I, I can hear all the sexual suggestion from Ace Academy, even though she has no idea what sex is. Um, but that's not the only reason I'm here. I'm also here for this. I was told that I should also pick the dress. Now, I didn't think this was necessarily a good option, but I'm told for reasons, and I don't know what reasons are, but I should pick dress here. Now, does this mean that I have to restart everything? I don't know, but let's go down this option, shall we? Kauri's practical, but she likes to dress cute. She does, actually, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe I could go with clothing. I was thinking of a dress. Naomi perks up. Oh, that's a good idea. I can help you pick out something cute. Ah, there we go. Thank you, Naomi. You're the best. Really? Thanks. Sure, come on. I know the perfect store. Oh, we're getting out of this store. Oh, so this takes us to a whole different store. She guides me out of the jewelry shop. We walk a few doors to, uh, stores down until she leads me to a clothing store. We're back in the hallway, you lying motherfuckers. Most of the displays have mannequins wearing short, fancy dresses. I'm not sure what to pick. There's so many options. I should probably, this should probably be another place where I'm saving. Okay. I take my time perusing through all the different ones before stumbling upon a lengthy dress with an open back. Kaoru looks super hot in this. I know why you guys wanted me to pick this option now, and I'm grateful for it. <clears throat> but Kaori doesn't necessarily go for that kind of look. I don't give a shit. She'll look great in it. What do you think? I hold it up for Na uh, Naomi. Oh, we could get a uh, grin sparks across her face. Bad sister! I think that's perfect. Atta girl. You want me to get it on with your sister? Same here. Her grin broadens. Hope and excitement unfurl in my chest. I must be better at this than I thought. We go up to the counter. Luckily, there isn't a long wait. After we buy the dress, I'm feeling pretty proud of myself. I'm glad I got you here to guide me. I would have second-guessed myself. Naomi giggles. No worries. That's what I'm here for. Mmm. I feel like the title of this episode, well, when I when I get to it, is going to be say, say yes to the dress. Ready to go? Yes. Let's get on out of here. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Kaori's doing like a ghost thing with her hands. It's like she's trying to do like Naruto hand signals and everything. Um... I think last time I picked, we would put these good deals. Like, these sure are practical gifts. I don't get why you're so embarrassed. These fists are so practical. You could have handcuffs if a burglar breaks into your house, tape to fix things, and a mask to help you sleep. Kaori raises an eyebrow. Seriously? You don't get it? No. What? <laughs> she crosses her arms. I think her arms are doing some exorcist shit right now, and I don't know how to feel about it. Are you aware of what Fifty Shades of Gear is? Oh! Oh, that! You mean that perverted book that also was a movie? You know, the, the pervert thing that you know about. That you know... Um, yeah, no, I, I have no clue. Yeah, of course. Realization hits me like a truck. My eyes widen. My mouth drops open. Oh. The whole family stares at me as a warm blush crawls up into my face. 
Yeah, go fix your hands. Alrighty, so I guess it's all here is where everything happens. So, it's when I give her the gift. Let's see. Uh, nope. Uh, no, I didn't get you anything. Right, right, right. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I didn't. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, Wait. kidding. I nod. Okay. Merry Christmas. Kaori freezes, her breath catching in her throat. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. I mean, come on, it's, but I'd like, I, you, you'd look good in it though, right? She carefully holds up the dress I bought her and stares at it. You don't like it? A panic flares inside of me and I glance at Naomi. She seems unconcerned. I didn't say that. I thought it was nice. I, th I think she thinks it's nice too, dude. She just, it caught her off guard is, it's what's happening. It is. Yeah, see? Then what's the, there's no pro, what the fuck, that, stop your insecurities. There is no problem. There isn't one. Yes. Okay, Percolator's kind of stupid. I think that means she likes it. It's very pretty, Kauri. You should try it on. Mm -hmm. Right now? Mm-hmm. Naomi winks at me. Of course, right now. Come on, he bought it for you. At least see if it fits. Uh-huh. Right. Uh-huh. Also, can the family please leave the premises? Or maybe I'll just go to, like, I'll, I'll go in her room. I mean, that's where she's going. She goes to the bathroom anyway. I'll just follow her there. I'll make sure the dress looks good. Y'all, y'all, Merry Christmas. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> After a few moments, I hear the door open and perk up like a bloodhound that just caught whiff of a rabbit. Wow, that's quite the description. I've never heard that before. Kauri's footsteps pad uh, against the floor. She makes her way back to the living room and then... Ah, oh, there she is, and she looks gorgeous. My mouth drops open. The dress hugs her figure perfectly, then opens uh, the open back teases me with a glimpse of her skin. I can't see though. The open uh, with a glimpse of her skin and draws my eyes down to the firm curve of her uh, of her behind. I, which again, I cannot see. You're, you're teasing me. Her legs seem to go on for miles as the skirt flows over her feet. Her face is bright red. You know what else is teasing me right now? I need to get to these beers. We need to get past this. What do you think? Uh, I'm ready to put those gifts to good use. I should probably save too. Hold on. I'm ready to put the pleasure in the pleasure tape. Where'd you get the where'd you put those handcuffs again? Don't you dare! Oh, 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 not in front of your family. <laughs> Although her words are harsh, there's a smile on her face. Kauri's face is pink as she admires the dress. Thank you for the gift. I love it. Oh, you're welcome. I would, 10 out of 10, would buy again. And I'm sure that I appreciate the gift myself. I can't keep my eyes over her. I bet you can't. My pleasure. She turns to go. Oh, I should probably also get a, um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at her. Hmm. Where are you going? As much as I love this dress, it's getting kind of chilly. That it is, because it's the middle of winter. Take one last look. She's looking a bit perky. That makes sense. I'm having a feeling this is gonna take us another direction, isn't it? There's a perkiness in her chest I can't help but notice, and I grin. I can tell. <laughs> her face brightens as she covers her chest with her hand. Why are you looking there? Uh, now I have a better place to look. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, stupid game. I love you so much. Oh, that was absolutely worth it. Now I see why every... Okay. <laughs> it actually... It inadvertently made made this even worse. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. They were standing at attention. How could I not see them? And now something else is standing at attention. She throws her, ar uh, her other arm over her chest, <laughs> hiding them completely from view. You it's all I know how to be, remember? I'm just going to change! Walk slow. <laughs> I found. I can't see anything now. What the fuck do you mean? Alrighty, okay, so I think that was the big thing everybody wanted me to do. Let's get to the start of the new episode. Alrighty, let Drunkapalooza begin! First 10 minutes! Yeah! The sun shines right in my eyes, waking me up. Still groggy, I blink my eyes open and look around the room. Carrie's space beside me is empty. She must already be awake. For someone who hates morning, she's been waking up early quite a lot recently. I take a look at the time and balk at how late it is in the morning. Or that. We did have a late night coming home and I was exhausted from the travel. Carrie must have let me sleep in, which is very considerate of her. 
I smiled at myself, feeling lucky to have her again. We mean again, you always had her. Um, the events of our getaway are still fresh in my memory. A part of me wishes we could have stayed there longer. Either way, I should get up now and see what, ev uh, what everyone else is up to. Uh, Kauri's probably growing impatient waiting for me. I wonder if there's like a pervert meter slowly going in the background that gets you the perverted ending. Just wondering. I just gave Dishu a terrible idea. I get ready for the day and head downstairs. Kauri is in the living room gathering up some things, but glances up when she hears me. You're finally up. Yes. Yeah, sorry I slept so late. She shrugs. You are tired. She picks up a gift bag and peeks within. Don't worry, won't be tired for long. I'll just be drunk, which will eventually make me tired. So, what are you doing? It's hard to do with- Oh, just double checking the presents. There are a few things I'd like to exchange. Or maybe just return entirely. If you return that dress, I'm gonna have to disappoint your dad, who will then in return kill me. I think I know exactly which gifts those might be. A trip to the mall would be a nice opportunity to stretch my legs and get out of the house for a bit. Would you like some company? Sure, if you want to. But you don't have to. But I want to. Let's go. Our family are doing their own individual things, so I helped myself to some food in the kitchen. After I'm finished eating and Kauri has gathered everything she wants, we drive over to the mall. Meet me in the mall. It's going down. Although Christmas has already passed, some of the stores are slow to remove their decorations. The lights are gone, but some of the reefs and trees remain. Most of the Christmas sale signs have all been replaced with after Christmas or New Year's deals. Yeah, you know, the same sign that we saw when we first came here. We pause in front of the oh-so-familiar jewelry store, which is located in the center of the mall. That motherfucker's about to get an engagement ring. Why don't we meet back here in about half an hour? He's about to get an engagement ring. Oh, it's okay. I don't mind uh, uh, going with you to return your things. I don't really have any uh, anything I need to do here anyway. All right, never mind. Her gaze flicks away. No! Okay. Oh, 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 right. That would be kind of embarrassing now, wouldn't it? I look at how forceful her answer is. A blush rushes to her face. Think about it. I mean, no. You should just go and look around, and I'll get this returned, and then we can reconvene. Yes, because she's awkward. Yes. She's being weirdly insistent she goes alone. It, it's not a big deal. It even, it, like, even though I didn't get it right away, once she said the no, it, like, dawned on me. Like, oh, right, yes. That bad, bad idea. I already have an idea of what you're returning anyway. It's not the fact that you know what she's returning. It's the fact that she is returning it with you also present. The blush deepens as she shakes her head. She clutches the bag, closing it tightly. No, you don't. I was right there when you opened the gifts from your mom and sisters. Wait, what? Yeah, but then later on, Naomi gave me something else. Actually, I'm not sure. Naomi's kind of all over the place, so she might have... I mean, I mean, yes, it's it's still that thing. Like, it's it's related. It's You're, you're returning all these to the same shop. But I don't know if this is a good thing for me or a bad thing for me, what you're embarrassed about. You know what? Let's not talk about it any further. Her voice becomes small, just barely a whisper. From Vicky's Confidential. <laughs> That's it? Really? <laughs> All right. Fine. Be embarrassed about some lingerie. My eyes widen. That's the ladies' lingerie show store. Don't return it. <laughs> Images of lacy bras and teasy underwear fill my mind, then I imagine Kauri wearing them. I reach for the bag, but she snatches it away. Please, for the love of all that is good and my love of you, do not return those. No! I have to! It's embarrassing! To who? It's just gonna be me and you that would know about it. At least let me see what I'll be missing? Uh-oh. She jumps back, holding the bag close to her chest. No! Stop being a pervert! I can't wait for Kauri after story two, uh, the breakup, where me being a pervert finally at some point catches up with me and Kauri decides it's over. <laughs> I'll find you when I'm done. And then there'll be Kauri after story three, in which we'll end up like Uncle Kaito and Aunt Yuki and then eventually find each other back again. Anyway, uh, as she begins to walk away, my tiny sliver of hope shatters. I was so close. As Kauri slowly fades from view, I wonder which shops I should browse. Let's save. 
Oh, we don't get a choice. Glancing up at the jewelry store, I feel drawn to enter. I noticed some good quality leather watch band. <laughs> he said good quality leather. My brain went somewhere else. Uh, in there last time. Maybe they... Stop being a pervert. Maybe they've got deals on those today. Plus, Kauri will meet me right outside here, so I may as well stay close. I enter the store and see, uh, uh, see the same rack of necklaces and bracelets sparkling in the lights. If I remember correctly, the watches were in the back. Making my way through, I pass by the rings, then I hesitate. Damn it. The promissory ring really sticks out in my mind as the events of the past week. Please. Okay. I'm finishing this beer right now. You get a promissory ring? I'm chugging all three of these beers within, like, two minutes. Okay, that's one down. Spending Christmas with her family is spending the night underneath the stars, a beautiful um, winter night market. I love spending every minute of, with, uh, of it with her, and I want to create even more memories together. So don't get a promissory ring. I'm begging you. Her, my gaze falls on an elegant silver band. Maybe. Oh, hello again, sir. It's a pleasure to see you return. Oh, hi, Valerie. Have you been talking to Kauri again? Because she's been doing this weird teasing thing when she's drunk. Uh, glancing up, I recognize the girl as the same saleswoman from before. Uh, hi. This is a little awkward. <coughs> that was a little awkward. Instinctively, I step back. She smiles warmly. You must really be serious about her. You have seriously grown up, Valerie. Like, you, you, you got some bass in your voice now. Um, huh? Well, you've come in here twice, and both times you've looked at our rings. No! <laughs> ah, that's true. My eye is drawn to the silver band again. She notices my stare and smiles. Don't you let Valerie influence your, your decisions. It's beautiful, isn't it? Elegant, yet simple. It's a popular choice within our promissory ring collection. I'm just gonna start now. She takes it out from the case and offers me a chance to inspect it. The more I look at it, the more I think Kauri would like it. A promissory ring. Oh. Perhaps you'd like to give it to a certain special someone? Ugh. She winks knowingly. Wow, she was just supposed to stop hitting on me. It's like she's in the previous game. Um... The game wants me to buy the ring, don't they? Wow, she just won't stop hitting on me. Again, I'm still flattered, but I'm also still taken. Her smile freezes and she forces a laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry for the misunderstanding again. I meant, would you like to give it to your significant other? Hmm. I have a feeling the game... I have a feeling the game is pushing me to do this. Like, there's gonna be a different ending. I should have saved. Okay, give, give me one second. I, I will save, because I want to split this here, because I feel like this is a big, important option here. So give me one sec. All right, we should be ready to go. Um, I'm gonna go with no thanks, I like living in the moment. But I have a feeling that this isn't like, they're gonna want me to do this. So that's why I saved there, because I have a feeling... Yeah. This ring feels like a promise I don't know if I can keep. No one knows what the future holds. As much as Akira and I like each other, what's to say that our past will continue to match after we graduate? Wow, what a weird, like, existential thought to have there. I don't know existential, but like a lifeier choice there. I wouldn't I wouldn't go that far. It would just kind of be like a, I don't want a promissory ring. <laughs> I, I would just rather live in the relationship, enjoy it for what it is, and once I'm absolutely sure, then yes, I would go and get an engagement ring. All right, fine, I'll go back and I'll do the ring. God damn it, you win, game. I remember Kauri's face as she cuddles, cuddled into me and gazed up, uh, gazed up at the stars. She seemed so content and everything seemed to just fall into place. You want your romantic happy ending. Here you go. I want to see her. I want to see her that happy again. I want to make her that happy, however I can. I promise that I will. Oh. You know what? Yeah, I do want to buy it. God damn it, Percolator. The girl's face splits into a wide grin because she just made a shit ton off commission, baby. 
Oh right, that's right. I gotta I gotta finish these beers and like. Okay, when I said two minutes, I wasn't quite truthful. Excellent choice. Mm -hmm. Could you carefully place the ring within a small box after my purchase? I refuse a bag and slip it into the box. Oh, refuse a bag and uh, wait. Oh, 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 no, no, he's refusing the bag, okay. Uh, I refuse a bag and slip into uh, slip the box into my pocket. I don't want Kauri to know it, about this just yet. I have to find the right time to surprise her. Never. <laughs> As I turn to go, I spot Kauri's red hair. In a moment, she reaches my side. What are you doing here? Good question, what are you doing here? I thought we were gonna meet outside. I better think of something quick. I found you a sexy dress. I had just walked into the first store I saw. Oh, right. Well, I'm done with my exchange stuff, so if you're ready to head out. That was quick. I'm happy you didn't get rid of the handcuffs and stuff. Sure, let's go. I follow around the store. So while we're here, is there anything you did want to get? Kari looks thoughtful. Actually, the latest season of Ninja Rangers is out. Okay, way more fun. Let's go get a set of Ninja Rangers, get some Wendy's on the way home, and or whatever the Japanese equivalent of Wendy's is. Sushi Wendy's? That sounds, that sounds, that, anyway. Oh, nice, and you want to watch it? She nods. I've been waiting for it to come out so I could watch it all at once. I heard they're introducing a new ranger. Sweet, Netflix and chill, am I right? Uh, how do you feel about that? I'm not sure yet, but it's exciting either way. I know, let's do that now. Her eyes light up as she talks. Kaori is usually so serious, sometimes I forget she likes Animu too. She loves the Animus. Well, with such a pivotal plot point, we absolutely have to watch it. We? That means you're <laughs> going to watch it with me? <laughs> like I'm not. Alright, I'm upholding my end of the bargain here. Of course! I throw my arm around her shorter shoulder. Why wouldn't I watch it with you? You're my girlfriend. You're, you wanna watch something? Listen, I the most the most fun thing about being in a relationship with someone is being able to share the things that you like with that other person and doing them uh, doing that with them if you can't do that stuff then like even if it is like you know different things like i i like i've never watched um what was it how i met your mother i never cared about the show like the, the it just seemed like a silly thing to me and i remember this girl i dated about like four or five years ago really really liked how i met your mother and was willing to actually sit through every season single season with me um and and watch that show ironically she broke up with me at the last season F funny funny story um but it just makes me think that like you know you 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 share those things together and you want to do those things together because it's like this is the person that you enjoy spending time around it gets you a better sense of them you can see them be passionate about something of course i would want to do that why wouldn't you who else would i watch it with she blushes as a smile grows on her lips <laughs> smiles coming to mind too um uh. Something's off about this Corona. There's a reason why that was on sale. I don't, I don't take offense to, uh, when she shrugs out, out of my grasp. One day, I'll get comfortable with her public displays of affection, but that's not today. Oh, get her comfortable with uh, public displays of affection. Do you know where the store is? She glances around and then points. There's a directory. Maybe it'll show us where to find the anime store. Excuse me, did I just hear you say anime store? Oh, yes, you did, Gigook. Are you from... Are you from... I can't tell if you're if you if you're Australian or a Kiwi. We turn around and at the side. Of, uh, uh, we're not going to turn around at anything at this point because this beer is making me gassy. Uh, we turn around at the sound of the voice of a man and see a man with bright spiky hair. I, I mean, his his sweater was bright. I don't think his hair was actually bright. He wears a cool jacket and a t-shirt. Gee, <laughs> I just I didn't. <laughs> Oh, that's over. Oh, okay. It was funnier the way that I read it because I thought it said, Oh, man, he wears a cool jacket and a t-shirt and jeans. Like, who the fuck wears that? Now, now it's not as cool now that I read that it's over. Yeah? I'm heading in that direction and can show you where it is. Uh, thank you, Gig Guck. Oh, okay. That's really helpful. Is this a joke that I am not in on? No problem. Just follow me. Okay, done deal. He leads the way and we cautiously follow. Also, I don't think he's Australian or uh, New Zealand. 
Um, I take Kaori's hand in mine so we don't lose each other. We weave through the crowds. Soon he turns down one of the narrow uh, corridors. Is he going the right way? I don't... didn't know there were shops here. The corridor opens back to the uh, other end of the mall. The guy suddenly pauses with no anime store in sight. Here we are. Kaori and I look at each other in confusion. Er, we're in the middle of nowhere. Kaori looks skeptical. Uh, wow, I, I, wow, this is a moment to save. And we are saving, and it's saved. Yeah, the only thing here is just a big garbage bin. Oh, I get it. His expression suddenly changes. Exactly, because anime is trash. <laughs> okay, Gigguk, you can eat dicks. He shouts his last words and dashes away. Hearing that just rustled my jimmies, no. Your mom's trash. That, you know what? Honestly, that, that is about as close to me as you're going to get. Ignore him. Couldn't have said it better myself. I shout after him. Your mom's trash. Kaori crosses her arms. Seriously? That was the best you could come up with? That was the best option they gave me. I, I said that was, the, that was as close as you're going to get with the options that they got. Your mom's trash. Yeah, I love making your mom jokes. It's not like I had a lot of time. You know, actually, you did have a lot of time. You just didn't come up with something better. The fire ignites in Kyrie's eyes as she balls her fist. Ooh, best girl? Idiot! What's his problem? I'm disappointed. I don't know. It's not like we asked him for help. We could have been fine without him. Better, in fact. Oh, oh, you're mad about... Okay. There was a weird transition because I thought that she was actually going to come up with a better response to him, not get mad. Okay. Well, he's gone now, so let's just find the store ourselves. Still boiling, Kaori nods and takes a deep breath trying to calm herself. I hope that just isn't a random non sequitur. Anime is not trash. It's not. I'm, I'm with you. I, I feel you. I, I feel you. I feel you. Right. It's actually a really expressive and entertaining method of storytelling. For the most part, yeah. Except for when they do that whole, like, friendship and hope thing, at the, usually at the end of storylines, to kind of explain away things. But, but, yeah, 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 for the most part, I'm with you. Yes. With high quality production. Okay, all right, got it, you're passionate. Okay, you don't have to convince me. She pauses them and exhales. I'm sorry. He just made me so angry. Clearly. Let's forget about him, and you can stop being angry. <laughs> she nods, and we head back towards the directory. Kaori spots the name of the store list almost right away, and we make our way there without incident. After buying the anime, we linger in the mall for a while longer, checking out some of the deals. We don't end up buying anything else, but we do find an arcade. I managed to convince Kaori to go in, and we even find a set of gear simulators. About the whoop her ass. We play some co-op matches on. Against the AI, which Kaori approves of. But I wanted to fight Kaori. Once we've adjusted to the gear equipment, we flawlessly defeat level after level, attracting a crowd. We end up finishing with a super high leader score board. Uh, why not first place? I guess all that gear piloting at Ace and my team cohesion with Kaori over the last months have paid off. Oh, it's been months. We bought her a ring after months of a relationship. Nice work. Uh-huh. You too, partner. I know. Did a great job buying you that ring. We've only known each other for months. Oh, my stomach is not going to agree with me tomorrow. We probably exit the arena and notice the crowd is starting to die down. We decide to go back. By the time we head home, it is already beginning to get dark. We arrive just in time for dinner. Together we share another one of Miss Tommy's delicious meals. No wonder Kaori knows so much about food. Her mother is an amazing cook. After dinner, we help clean up. Um, and then the family splits their respective activities. <laughs> activities. Well, I mean, you know, Mama and Daddy can... But I don't know what your sisters are doing. They're probably just making fashion designs, magazines that thing that they do. The twins return to their room to work on their ideas. Kaori's mother pulls up beside her daughter. Oh, never mind. It says right down here what they're doing. Kaori, honey, could you come with me for a minute? I want to go through some of your old belongings before you go back to university. I'm about to put a ring on a girl, but I'm still going to college with. That sounds wrong. 
Not like wrong in like a moral thing, just like wrong in like a... We're young. What for? I know you help out at Uncle Miguel's daycare. And I thought it'd be nice if you donated some of your old toys and things as a late Christmas gift. By the way, can I adopt your family? Your family's like way better. Your uncle's way cooler. Uncle Miguel is fucking awesome. Your mom's... Oh, that's right. I don't have a mom or a dad right now. I take that back. Kauri's expression softens and a wide smile lights her face. I recognize that expression. She wears it every time she sees the kids. That's a great idea, Mom! Chatting excitedly, the two of them head upstairs, leaving just me and Kauri's dad in the living room. Glancing over, I see he's inspecting a tiny figurine. Curious, I decide to get a closer look. <coughs> I'm also getting a crash course in why you don't drink 36 fluid ounces of anything that fast. Uh, he's holding a miniature gear figure similar to what he gave Kauri. Uh, although this one is uh, this one is particularly painted, or only partially painted, I think I recognize the shape. It's Eagle. Is that a model of the Series X890? Never mind. Her dad looks startled, but answers me with a pleasant grin. Yes, it is. It's unfinished, though. I'm surprised you could tell. Shishi, I had nothing there. I, I just kind of stared at the camera because sometimes it's nice to break the fourth wall. Uh, they have a really distinctive sleek design, a bit thinner than the general models. He nods in agreement. Yes, I've noticed that too. They can be pretty tricky to get right. I personally really like the X888. Yeah, personally, I like the XXX69. Uh, this time, it's my turn to look surprised. I didn't realize you were so into gears. Oh, well... I'm certainly no expert like you kids, but I've slowly been getting into it. Mm. Never mind, I guess we're not gonna get interested in that. He straightens up and gestures for me to follow him into the garage. Oh, maybe we are. Holy shit. Like, honestly, I want, like, this is why I like when I find, like, people who are passionate about shit, because it makes me, like, when I have my own like space like this where it's like I'm allowed to kind of geek out I kind of have that here in this room where it's like this is all my gaming stuff but I also want like my artwork I want artwork and shit around here this is like really cool like I, I mean like people could come in here and be like how many people's rooms do you go in every day where it's just like they have a green screen and like their guitar and a PC and like all their games and everything and like um like kind of almost like a mini bar set up here like it's not a normal thing and I kind of like it when people don't have normal things it's way more interesting um it's been refurbished into a workspace on one, on one cabin there are lines of finished miniature gears where I don't see the finished ones <laughs> I'm looking, I'm actually trying to look around for the finished ones. This is, this is, okay, maybe it's like behind us or something. I don't know, stop focusing on it, Blackjack. Um, I gravitate closer to them and recognize that they're grouped by gear, make, and model. Did you paint these yourself? He nods proudly. Yes, I honestly find it relaxing. How did you get into it? It was Kauri, actually. Ah, really? Indirectly. When she started getting into her piloting, she did all this research into gears. I decided to do it along with her, so I could understand exactly what she was getting into. What kind of dangers she'd be in. What model of gear would be best. That sort of thing. A nod. So, it seems like he almost combined two things into... Like, he combined... It looks like his love of just kind of craftsmanship and art into something that his daughter loves, which is really cool. And this almost kind of feels like it feeds into his daughter's deciding to, like, design fashion. That's, that's really, I don't know if that was intentional, but that's really cool. And even after she found Aura, I found myself still researching. It turns out, I think they're pretty interesting. He chuckles. Now, I'm never going to be a pilot or an engineer, but painting these little guys helps me feel a little bit closer to my daughter. That's really awesome, Mr. Tommy. I can't help but to smile. You know what? The more I say the name of Tommy, and I think thinking about her dad, there's something in the back of my mind that always kind of wondered if, like, her dad turns out to be like Hideo with Tommy and just comes in and it's like, if you, if you, if you, if you break up with my daughter, I will make you go to sleep. And then he just delivers a fucking knee to your face. Oh, jeez, wow. That's, that is definitely the alcohol talking. 
He cares greatly for his daughter and it shows in the little things he does for her. This is why I love like liquor. Liquor does not do this to me. Uh, memories of working on Eagle with my dad resurface and I fight back the lump in my throat. Kauri's really lucky to have him. He rummages through his drawers and pulls out two figurines. Then passes one of them to me. Would you like to give it a try? Paint Eagle! Make a completely new design. No, Paint Eagle! Sure. Yeah, because that's a... He wouldn't know what that model is. Like, wasn't this, like, something that we... Well, it's the core, really, that was, like, special. I've been missing my own gear while out of school. It'd be nice to have a little keepsake so I can keep it with me at all times. The sad thing is, like... This is also what I like about liquor. I could have finished, like, two drinks, which is, like, 32 ounces, which is what I just had. And I'd be drunker. I'm not drunk yet. I should probably work on that. <laughs> His grin broadens as I accept the mini gear. He sets up the paints and we both get to work. We continue to chat. He shares with me that Cowrie would sometimes help him uh, paint the gears, but she was usually too impatient to be able to do it long term. Usually he would paint and she would watch him. The aura figurine he gifted her was, uh, was one he actually built as well as painted. It was the first time he built a model, which was impressive considering how great it looked. Finally, Mr. Tommy's gear is finished. He takes a look at my curious. That looks great. You've obviously got talent. Is this a special gear? See, I knew he wouldn't know. I nod. This is my gear, Eagle. It's a beautiful looking gear. Did you custom build it? Not really. Yeah, my dad and I did. This, okay, that's that's why I said not really. I fall silent as the lump in my throat returns. Carrie's dad softens his voice as gentle and calming. You two did a great job. Thanks. He takes another look at me, and something in his expression is different. Although he'd always been nice and welcoming to me ever since I've arrived, he, I feel like he finally accepts me. This time together uh, bonded us. Make oh, this time together. Happy. And I can understand why. You're a good young man. If only I ever got that approval from parents. I've also only met, like, parents, like, once. And their parents actually liked me. We just ended it. Um... But this is like so weird to like just feel like a parent accepting moment. Hearing two words means a lot to me. Uh, hearing two words? Okay, maybe I am a little drunk. Hearing those words comfort me. Thank you, she's a very special girl. Understatement. Yes, she is. By the way, I'm getting engaged to your daughter now. It's only been four months, but whatevs. <laughs> he claps my shoulder and gives me a gentle smile. Well, it's getting late. We should probably head back into the house. Miss Atami will scold me if she knew I was out here at this hour. Oh, you mean Fifi? Oh, Fifi's not worried about you, Shishi. He winks and the two of us go back inside. I return to the bedroom and find Kaori sitting on the bed. She looks up as I enter. Good, you're back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're also on yours. I was going to put on the first episode of the new Ninja Rangers. Do you want to watch? It's who I want to watch. Yes. Like, I would, okay, so here's the thing. I would, I would, I would cuddle and watch, but I have a feeling if I do this, it will not put on Ninja Rangers. If we've been together for a long time, it's not like this is like the first or second week or whatever, which it's like, oh, I love battling or whatever. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been wa wanting to watch that since you mentioned it this afternoon. She grins. Hurry up, then. We're not in the honeymoon phase anymore. We, we've actually jumped from the honeymoon phase to, like, the I'm going to get engaged to you phase. And that shit was, like, months. <coughs> yes, ma'am. As she sets up, I quickly get changed and get ready for bed. We settle in bed together with Kauri snuggled against me and begin the first... See? It happened anyway. See? Okay, so it was good for me to pick that one because I didn't want him to be, like, cuddle time and then it's like, you know, nothing ever happened. Actually, now I'm kind of curious. Okay, hold on. Give me one sec. All right, we're back. All right, let's let let let's see how the whole cuddling being clingy kind of thing works. Only if that also includes snuggle time with my girl. Okay, I guess that's not bad. She blushes and looks away. Don't be weird. But she passed the space right next to her. I happily sit beside her and gather her in my arms, making her giggle. As she sets up, I quickly get changed and ready for bed. What? You, she just... She was like the, she, she did the, and I'm there, and now I'm getting out of bed and getting, you, I'm, see, 
See, I, I knew something was wrong. Um, we settled in bed and uh, together with Kauri snuggled against me and began the first episode. There we go. So that would have happened no matter what. As the show continues, my eyelids feel heavy and I fight to keep them open. It's not long before I fall asleep with Kauri in my arms. have a promise to uphold, which means I need to finish this. And there you go. That's how you finish four beers in one episode. I'll be right back because my stomach needs to go get pumped. No, I'm kidding. Um, we'll be uh, right back with actually the next episode. And by right back, I mean I'll be recording this in about like five minutes. Um, but you guys won't see the next episode until tomorrow on the next episode of Cowrie After Story. What are my hands doing? I don't know. Agree if you think that my hands are weird by clicking the subscribe button down below as it's trying to direct you. Maybe you leave a comment and then you, you, you thumbs up and like the video. Thank you again. You can thank me later for that Cowrie dress shot. You're welcome. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Good night. Ugh, I don't I don't know what movie it's from. I, I want to say it's Elf. Elf is the movie. Elf is the one where uh, Mil Will Ferrell is like, milk was a bad choice. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with beer was a bad choice. <laughs>